Hey everybody, Cody Nelson here at Cover Crop Kings. Say we're just out here doing a something a little different. Uh, we had to make up some, do some changes uh, where we're at in the world today, especially uh, in agriculture. If you're not willing to take some chances and and makes take some risks, I'm not sure that you really have a chance to get ahead or to do anything. So uh, we gotta gotta do some things different. And and I'm out here right now in a field that last year uh, we had a video of teff grass and. And I'm gonna show you what, what we've got and what we've done uh, so far. So this is this was Teff last year, and I'll tell you, it really choked out everything. We didn't have any weeds out there, and any of you guys that have grown Teff will understand that it gets really thick, especially after first cutting. So we took, after the last frost last year, we took, uh, uh, I think it was the fourth cutting off, and seeded rye, and then it was, it ended up being, uh, well into November, I think it was November 13th, if I remember correctly, when we got that rye seeded and and then harvested that uh, just yesterday. So it's June 2nd today, and we're actually out here uh, planting something completely different. We are we are planting it to corn, um, but we've got some other stuff, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what we got going on here. So if you look in here, I've got pumpkin seed. We've got corn, we've got soybeans, and we got sunflowers. So that's that's what we got in the planter. Uh, we've got the planter set at 51,000 population. We are doing this on 30 inch rows. We're also gonna come back here and we're gonna drill, uh, probably at an angle, um, a mixture of sorghum sedan, uh, sedan grass, forage sorghum and maybe a few other things we'll see so i'll tell you to back this up a little bit it was corn the year before last year was teff grass then we seeded cereal rye and i can tell you when we harvested the cereal rye uh, for feed we needed to add some broad leaves we needed to add some legumes we needed to get some diversity this field is lacking diversity big time uh, too many monocultures we needed to get some diversity in here uh, also, as some of you may know, we've also uh, over the last year uh, purchased the tree farm and and at that tree farm we do lots of transplant trees, but we also uh, do a fall festival. Last year we did a pumpkin patch and and we had some people come in. Uh, we had roughly six to seven hundred kids throughout the month of October. Nothing huge, but not bad for our first year. So anyhow, uh, we decided this year we should probably add a corn maze and, and that's uh, kind of what this is going to be. It's actually going to be more of a cover crop maze, but a corn slash cover crop maze. We want to get it super thick and and uh, we're also going to fix our soil health. We're going to try and have some soil health uh, places, units here uh, where we can we can show the kids uh, what we're doing on our farm to help improve soil health. And one thing we noticed here is we had a lot of kids coming from the from from local farms. Dad was into tractor farming and mom and grandma brought the kids out to the pumpkin patch and it's gonna give us an opportunity to talk to those kids and kind of show them uh, what, what we, how we do things. And, and so they can go back and ask dad, hey, how come we don't plant cover crops or how come, uh, how come we're not you know, doing no-till or whatever? And maybe they won't, maybe they'll just play in the corn truck and run on hay bales and look at the, the uh, petting zoo and go through the, the cover crop maze. But, but I'll tell you, we're gonna spread the cover crop word, no doubt about it. So that's, that's something that we're trying to do here. I also want to talk to you about equipment, just a little bit on equipment. And if you look here, uh, when we bought the tree farm, the Skoboda came, uh, came along with it. But, but I bought this planter last year uh, just specifically for planting pumpkins on 60 inch rows. And we've added some things. Uh, we're not done. Uh, just a plain old John Deere 7000. You can see there's no row cleaners. There's there's nothing fancy 
on this. We did add those tanks. Uh, the plan is eventually we wanted to be able to ban 28% right behind the row and we we're gonna spray it. So we've got some different ideas with planting corn uh, into sod and wanted to wanted to be able to to utilize that so so eventually maybe it's a roundup slash 28 percent maybe it's something else maybe it's a, a bio biological something uh, we can also we've got the capability to go in furrow with this so that that part's nice but right now to get a little bit more weight we are i just got water in here so we just filled the tanks up nice little deal if you want to wash your hands you're out in the field uh, just crank that open and uh yeah so that's that's kind of that's kind of the rig i don't even have the monitor uh hooked up right now so we when we when we transported it some of the wires got kinked so we're just kind of winging it but one thing we're doing is getting out and checking seed depth and seed placement uh we are getting it about two inches in the ground i tell you this ground is is pretty dang sandy here and, and pretty light soil so we've got to got it I, we cannot afford to to do any kind of tillage out here so that's what we're going to do we are going to have to make one burn down here um get the rest of this kind of cleaned up but that's just thinking outside the box a little bit and i urge each and every one of you to try something different this year uh to step outside your comfort zone do something a little bit different we're working with a lot of folks doing 60 inch corn i've got on the other side of the farm i got a twin row 60 inch corn plot that we're working on uh, we're working on a lot of 44 inch corn to get some more cover crops and diversity. Um, so we, we know we know we got to add diversity whenever we get the opportunity. And you know what? Monocultures just aren't helping get enough diversity across there. We, we've got to add more species together. We can't, can't keep planting the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So we know the markets are showing that we're not going to be able to make a killing raising corn and soybeans. So what else are you going to do? And, and just got off the phone with a, a gentleman that was actually wondering some of the economics behind some of this and and you know i can i can afford to spend a little bit more on my cover crop seed because i don't have the expense of tillage uh, in a lot of areas and and th I, I said before this piece is a little lighter soil but in most of the stuff where we're on it's it's really heavy and wet cover crops give us the ability to no-till so if we just scratch that uh scratch the seed cost or, uh, and make a it, that just washes out our tillage cost I haven't even touched on nutrient, uh, you know, savings. Uh, we're definitely going to start cycling more potassium and phosphorus, and we can save on some micronutrients and things like that. So there's a lot of things we can do to help make these this uh, farm business a little bit more profitable. And and the big thing is by adding diversity, cycling nutrients, and that's going to give us give our soils and our, our soil health a kickstart. So, anyways, that's all I got for you today. Uh, I better get back. We're going to, it looks like it might rain. So hopefully we could use a little shot. So anyhow, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button, like the video if you would. Um, and, and, uh, so, uh, like I say, subscribe and we'll go from there. I appreciate it. We'll keep you coming. We'll keep this, uh, we'll keep showing you videos from this field throughout the summer and show you what it looks like. I'm sure it's going to look crazy, uh, but we can't, can't wait to see it. So Anyways, if you got any questions, want to reach out, you need some help, don't be bashful. Uh, you can email us at www.soilrx, or scratch that. You could email us at soilrx1 at gmail.com, or you can check out the website at www.soilrx.net. Thank you guys. Have a great day. God bless the USA.